Craigadinus, I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm from Wales and even I struggle with the Welsh pronunciation more often than not. But more importantly than that, this is the waterfall country. That waterfall awaits me and so does that one amongst many others on this trail. Having done a little bit of research online while I was in Wales, I thought, let's come and give this walk a bit of a go and let's see what awaits me, more importantly than that, what I can do with it. That's me fully prepped up for the journey ahead. Hat, gloves, boil sweets in my pocket and a flask of coffee. What more does a man want? Right, I've made an executive decision. It's this yellow route I need to take. It's that waterfall. I think that waterfall is the main waterfall that I need to get to. There's clearly others up and around that area as well. It does look to be quite a walk away, but that's it. Commitment made. It's quite funny when you do a bit of research online, because when I checked about this place, some of the negative comments were it's quite a walk and it's quite dangerous. But uh, I don't know. It does not make it even more appealing. Tell you what though, it still looks incredible. Right, that's not very helpful. <laughs> Fork in the road, I can quite literally turn right and left here, and there's no signs. It's all about the adventure, I guess. <laughs> all right, left. As I'm wandering through, I can't help but notice that South Wales is still clinging on to that rather awesome tapestry of colour that they call the autumnal colours. They're still here, only just, but they're still here. So fingers crossed, these beautiful hues and colours will add to the images that I'm hoping to capture. Jesus, it's 50 minutes on horseback. Well, they weren't wrong about this bloody trek, except I have no idea where I am now. That is the waterfall I think I want to go to, but that's saying 20 minutes in the opposite direction. That's the way I've just came. I'm consulting with Google Maps here. Now, even though I've got 5G, Google Maps is continuously rerouting where I want to go to <laughs> but more importantly it's sending me back in the direction that I've just walked oh that's really frustrating all right I've come back to the t-junction and I'm now taking the right turn instead of the left one at least this is heading me downhill towards the sound of water I suppose although to be fair from here there's water to my left and to my right so it's very difficult to know which way is right Oh. I've walked on worse walks, that has to be said. I mean, look at that, look at the colours there. That's just incredible. Of a scramble down and I'm not entirely sure that I'm in the right place but I can hear and see what is obviously a waterfall let me put you guys down and talk when we get down there otherwise I'll follow me ass <laughs> Look, I 
think this is the main waterfall, but it's certainly one of many. And this looks pretty, pretty cool. So, just as a pre-warning, fast running water, very noisy. <laughs> According to one of the reviews, it said if you want to go to this particular waterfall, be wary. There's a very steep climb down and it is a scramble and it can be pretty dangerous, especially when it's wet. Now, the problem when you film severe conditions or territory, it never really comes across very well on a camera. But I'll point my camera down to show you exactly what that reviewer must have been making reference to. This microphone failed me here which is probably a good thing because all I was doing was moaning the two Z8 lenses I still have in my possession is the 14 to 30 and the 70 to 200 millimeter neither of which was right for where I initially set up despite the fact I wasn't comfortable using the 14 to 30 mil lens so far away from the waterfall typical of me I still grabbed a shot or two but then I moved slightly further away from the waterfall and applied what's probably my favorite lens to use of all times. And that is the 70 to 200 mil. Do you know, honestly, I feel very rewarded. Even if these pictures are only half as good as I'd like, I still feel very rewarded. Only because this vlog has been so difficult to create. Awkward place to find, awkward scramble down here. A lot of people definitely wouldn't come down, especially under these conditions. There's nobody here. Wow. Honestly, if this waterfall here was in a much more accessible area, then this place would be swooned by photographers all the time. Because even under these conditions today, that is just incredible. But I've still yet to go further back to grab an image or two. This has been a very rewarding shoot, honestly, very rewarding. Of course, shooting from over here was never going to be straightforward. Just as I suspected, looking up towards the waterfall, I can no longer, ooh, I can no longer see the surface of the water and that's annoying. So. I've got to try and get across or shoot the waterfall without seeing the surface of the water. Let's see how deep this water goes. Apologies once again, Nick, on if you're watching. If you watch next week's vlog and I'm not using the Z8, you'll know they've recalled it. <laughs> oh, it's so slippery in the foot and it's getting deeper. Oh, this is unbelievably slippery. Oop. Oh, right, don't step back, Gary. If you haven't already given this video a like, come on. <laughs> now, this is interesting. 
Let's put you guys in camera again. I do this quite a bit. Let me know in the comments section below if you guys benefit from me showing you compositions in camera. But it helps me get across to you guys my thought process, my train of thought. So what I'm looking at here, you can see how restricted I am. Lovely trees at the top. Everything is straight down the middle that I'm pretty uncomfortable with, but I'm not gonna get anything different from here. The slight difference from shooting back here, it now adds an element of interest in the foreground. And especially by the time of I've shot this at a long exposure, when that water's been flattened, I mean, that is quite dark. Don't worry about how dark that is at the moment. But when I've gone through my normal settings and I've flattened all that water out, then I think, I think adding this as a touch of foreground interest is something a little bit different, but I'm not gonna be able to go further across. So this is my limit. It's this or nothing. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, you can probably come here when the water level isn't as high as it is now and you'll have access to go across here and on top of the rocks and, and it'll be a lot easier. And also, the 14 to 30 mil lens that I had with me combined with a 70 to 200 mil is they're just not the right lenses for here. That 24 to 120, ooh! That all round, Jesus, that all rounder lens that Nikon offer would have been the perfect lens. Hmm, okay, so there's a bit of food for thought. Right, before I die, let's very quickly get this shot in the bag. I was gonna walk the whole loop today and look at many waterfalls, but I spent so long at that one waterfall that I'm gonna have to call it. I've just put home in to my sat nav and it's showing five and a half hours. <laughs> I've got to get home. It's my 21st wedding anniversary today, so I have to make a bit of a show. And not only that, but I'm extremely busy. Oh, absolutely knackered. Right, do me a favor then. I know I asked earlier on, but before I show you these images, help support the channel. Subscribe if you're new here and you want to find your way back. I've got one or two bits and pieces in the back catalog you might well even enjoy. But more importantly than that, please, give that like button a bit of a nudge. Until the next time, guys. Cheers.